When you're ready to upload a video to YouTube, it's really easy. Uh, you just create your free Google account. Uh, and then when you're at YouTube, you click Upload. And then you can click and drag your file. And it will pull up, automatically start downloading. And you want to type in a title that very well describes the video. Um, that's how people are going to find it. it. Makes you more searchable the more detailed you are. Then in the, descri the description, you can type whatever you want that you want users to learn more. I always, always put a link to my site. Um, if the video is talking about something specific on your site, link it to that specific page. If it's not talking about anything specific, then just link to your home page. Tags, these also have to be very well chosen. For this one, it'd be like Facebook, social media, how to, uh, tutorials, highlight posts, that sort of stuff. And then, in terms of whether you want it private, unlisted, or public, public is anybody can view. Unlisted is if you want it out there so other people can see it but if they have the link, only if they have the link. So if you put a link on your website, then only people there would be able to see it. Private is you actually have to select Google users who can see it. Category, uh, this would clearly be a how-to, uh, but there are, as you can see, plenty of categories. You can do a Creative Commons license, which means they have to attribute the video to you. Uh, you can pick your thumbnail, whichever one you think best shows what the video is. Sometimes they're not very good, but you just choose whatever one looks best. Now in these advanced settings, you can choose whether you allow all types of comments or whether they have to be approved, whether they can vote on the comments, whether they can vote on the video, um, if you want video responses, which means um, the way it's by default is you have to approve the video response before it goes live. Uh, syndication is whether you want the video to show up on mobile phones and any other type of third-party devices rather than just a browser. I always let it just because then people can watch from their phones. Embedding, if you're going to try to embed it on your website, you need to have this setting checked, and but it also allows other people to embed it. If you're doing location-based marketing, you can type in the video location and the recording date, and those uh, will help you get found. And 3D is still in beta. Um, I haven't done anything with it, but it is an option. So then you can save your changes. It gives you a link right to your video. You can go out and watch it.